Have you ever wondered what rosacea looks like close up? From a distance, all you can see is redness and blotches. But what does it look like close up and what helps a dermatologist make the diagnosis of rosacea? So here you can see what the redness is comprised of. The first and most important feature here is the presence of pustules and these are inflammatory spots with a white head and a red blush around them. Pustules in rosacea often occur in the central third of the face, especially around the nose. And treatments that can help pustules include azelaic acid, metronidazole and ivermectin, which are all available as creams. Now, if you reduce the number of pustules, then you will reduce the amount of redness around the pustules. And so treating the inflammation helps improve the redness. Pustules are not the only cause of redness. And as you can see here, telangiectasias or thread veins are the other cause of redness in rosacea. Now, these telangiectasias develop because of continuous inflammation in the skin, stimulating new blood vessel formation. And remember that rosacea is a complex chronic inflammatory skin condition. And it's really important to treat both the inflammatory component, which is the pustules, but also the blood vessels, the telangiectasias that arise following inflammation and as part of the rosacea syndrome. The best way to treat blood vessels and thread veins is with laser therapy. Laser is high energy light that gets absorbed into the blood within these blood vessels and causes those blood vessels to coagulate and disappear. And here's an example of somebody with rosacea who has had a laser redness reduction. And you can see the starting point is of multiple thread veins, which is causing visible redness. And after five or six laser treatments, you can see that the number of thread veins has reduced dramatically. And so the appearance of redness has improved as well. Laser is a highly effective treatment for the redness from rosacea and often the treatment is very durable. Some people will require maintenance treatment once every six or 12 months to keep the redness under control.